Greetings and welcome to Prosperous Universe. Before we get started, this game was provided for free by the developer. So I've been tracking this game for a short while. Uh, email, the developers emailed me uh, a few weeks back and said, Hey, would you like to be interested in this thing? And showed me some little videos and stuff they've made. And I thought it looked interesting. And it's a... So Prosperous Universe is a space economy MMO trading colonization game. So you set up a colony to manufacture a certain type of goods, whatever you want to manufacture, carbon, farming, foods, you know, um, construction materials, mining, all that sort of stuff. You do what you want to do. You mine the materials, you've got to supply the resources to, to mine. You've also got to sell your goods. And this is what the game fo focuses around that. Now it's mostly this sort of console you can see right now. This is a couple of screenshots from their website. But you can see you've got these big screens and you've got your fleet management for your ships that you uh, have that you can send your goods out and back and forth. Um, you have your smelter and you extract this. I'm guessing this one's set up as a uh, man uh, as an ore manufacturer. Um, you've got your trading grid here, so you can see your price that you pay for stuff. And uh, so you got you got all the trading stuff. So it's got all. So it's mostly a trading screen. It's a lot of on-screen data. So I'm not quite sure how deep we're going to get into this, but I want to show you some of the screenshots so you can see the detail it does go to, um, which goes to quite a lot. And these are planets you can set up on. Okay, so. That being said, we now have our, uh, our, our main game. We need to go and set up our own co cus uh, customer, our own uh, our own business. So, welcome to the company registration screen, where we will be logging in for the first ever time. So, we need a code. Now, I've asked Ranasian over on Discord <clears throat> to pick between two names, and all I said to him was, "We have Gdam or Gdam," because he kept he keeps saying "God damn it" to us, or he could have. The CCTN, and he has chosen the CCTN. The problem is, he never asked what CCTN was. Yeah, that was a mistake on his behalf because it's, it's actually called the Community Cannibal Troll Network. Yes, that that's the thing that he should have really thought about ahead of time, isn't it? So, with the Community Cannibal Troll Network, and we're going to join the Casio Senai Casioito Mercantile. Um, I've had a look at the little guide and it recommends this one as a good one to have for uh, carbon farmers, which is what we're going to see what it does to do. So register the company with the network. There we go, we are now registered with the network. Alright, starting location. We have all these locations we can start with. We can start at the hotel space station or the three possible planets. Now for carbon farmer, which is that one, uh, it says here, carbon has become a vital resource across different industries. So much so that the whole job profile has evolved around it. The carbon farmer. Even though you are being planting crops like a victria, which is basically a normal food for armor, uh, you will not have much to do with the food industry. Instead, your plants will be harvested for their precious carbon, which is the basis for many essential production processes in the metal and other industries. Excellent, so we will be doing that. We'll be making carbon. We're going to be planting trees and plants and extracting the carbon from them. Now, there are 400 plot, uh, 300 plots available of the 419, so this planet has some activity on it. There is a commodity exchange, which is good. It means we don't have to ship our goods out to a commodity exchange somewhere else. Um, the oxygen uh, is okay. The water is okay. And the soil facility is a little bit nah, I'm guessing. So that's, that's that. Look at you. <clears throat> you are leaned a bit more this way, though. You have sulfur, oxygen, and water. Uh, you have... Okay, so these are the little bits of each one, but nothing like amazing on them. So this uh, soil fertility bit here, I just went to check the guide if I hopefully edited it out. Because um, it's the same tab, but this is web-based, so you can see my browser right now. Um, this means it's above average. And this means it's below average, with the line there being the average growth. So we want to be on C1, CI1, for the, uh, for the above average quality of the soil, because we're making plants, so it makes sense. And we will now set up our company. Welcome! We are in. We have a legal command because we haven't done any commands yet because I don't know any commands yet. There are stuff, however. <clears throat> there are things and stuff everywhere. These are actual people down here, so uh, we, we keep an eye on them. We have... There we have Peter Texas joined. Hopefully they won't uh, be too much with us. <laughs> we have notes. Uh, welcome to the Apex console. If you haven't done so yet, you should click here to watch our instructions. I, I will. I will indeed not. Alright, so... We are here. Um, that's our fleet. Our fleet is there. Mm -mm. We hover our cursor over it. 
click and there we go we, that, that's our sector that's our planet right there and we can see all these stuff good we have a lot of bits we have yeah, look at that. that's our and we are we, we commissioned our company 42 seconds ago <laughs> and we have i'm guessing those are our ships on the bottom yes yeah, ship flight control planet info system planet info Bloop. and there's our planet look at that isn't that cool right so we're going to want to set a base up and we're going to want to do some stuff uh our fuel tanks are there okay so we're at the shipyards but we okay so we've got a lot of information so we want to be uh get rid of these a moment so i can see what we're doing we have a fleet of two ships uh they have a bit of fuel on board they keep the stationary and one's got a lot of cargo i'm guessing that's the one of our core components to start up a base we have transmission information here for apex package planets okay that's good these are like the tutorial stuff if i click on that yeah these are the tutorial videos so they've actually embedded the tutorial videos right into there which is going to be useful for us later on when i don't know half of the stuff we need to do because like i said i watched the videos i got down to about there and went i want to play this now <laughs> all right please watch the videos if you are new okay we will indeed watch those i didn't get rid of it it's honest it's fine uh blue imprint channel official help channel that's not that one there we go so I'm knocking out things I don't think we need just yet. I'm going to leave the chat there, but I am going to be a bit wary about leaving this chat potentially because, you know, things. All right, so we haven't got a base yet. So let's go set up our base. This is our planet we're at. Danku is there. Bloop. And here we have the CI1 where we want our base to be. And there's our planet. So we want to set up a base and we want to have a look at the planet map. There's our planet map. I'm going to kind of dock this somehow. Uh, here? No. You? No. Uh, da, 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 da. Ooh. Go away. You can go away. Alright, so I'm, I'm, I'm learning. Don't worry. So that's that. That's there. We can then go and start a base. Uh, we want to start a base. Alright, so we can start a base right now. We have in stock all materials and we have... These are our ships. You see that ship which is the bottom one here with the less cargo in it, doesn't have any items inside. Well, it doesn't have enough items to set up our base of operations. So we can't do that one, but we can use that other ship, which has all the information, all the stuff we need in order to set up a base. So that is good. Select an area of the planet. Can I zoom in? I can zoom in. Can I just make you a bit bigger? No. I was kind of hoping to make that bigger. All right. Oh, uh, draggable. I was going to drag it into the interface over here, but there's a way of doing it. I'll have to look at that in a bit. All right, so we've set up a cabin farm. The blue tiles are already taken by other people. The green tiles are available. Um, can I rotate the planet? I can rotate the planet. I do like a good hidden area, about right there. Uh, view base. Hey, look at that. We have a base. Um, area is small-ish. Developed available total. No P. Okay, but if we click there, Hang on. Uh, what if we click there? Can I not click anywhere else? Okay. Okay, so we've set up our base already. I wasn't sure if that would let me pick an area, or it just went no. There you go. It just just went no. There you go. That's fine. Then we have a base. We have a we have we have populations uh, around. I'm gonna figure out how to dock these things later. Oh no! Don't right click on stuff. Right click means your context menu, which is useless for everything. So we have all the things here, drinking water, essential, yes. We do kind of need drinking water. That is something that you do need. Yeah, okay. Uh, okay, so we are going to need to go to our construction and start making stuff. We need to build buildings, and hopefully we don't destroy the entire colony in the process. Um, I will figure out how to add these windows to docks uh, in the very, very short future, because I do know that. The communications beeping at me. Why are you beeping at me? Uh, public, Apex Global Chat, active right now. That's this down here. And I can see it. I'm, I'm keeping an eye on it just in case. <coughs> uh, the rate of any basic goods, it sells in the ma many markets, they're just out of players. Because it's early access, it's just been released about... Today would be four days ago. So yes, uh, Global Site Owners, uh, that is just people who've joined in. Okay, that's good. Boop. And that means I can get rid of that communications. Good. Right, so there's our planet. And this is our ship's fuel tanks, which we don't care about anymore because we don't care about that anymore, basically. Uh, over here, where we need to build some stuff. Now, we can't build a lot of this stuff, we just don't have the materials for it. Um, but we do need to get things up and running. 
Now, I'm guessing we can't build a lot of the stuff without buying some resources, which is fine. I just need to make sure we have the cash in the bank to buy. We should have been bankrolled a little bit. What are you? Uh, you are the planet. Yes, I want to keep you open. I'll put you over here, out of the way, until I figure out how to dock stuff. Uh, you I don't need just yet. Uh, you I don't need at all. Planet information I feel would be useful. Uh, that would be it's bases and finances. Oh, finances. I do like some finance information. All right, so we have thirty thousand CISD cist cists cist cists cist, cist, credits. We have thirty thousand credits. Okay, and it's a starting capital. Okay, good to start with. Uh. So that's that. Good. Uh, we have an illegal command here because I don't put any commands in. There's, uh, this is how you do your things. You type in bits of information. I'm not quite sure how you do it yet. I need to... Okay, it's been like a week since I looked up the information and I had to start the thing, so... Uh, add full. don't know what full does. It's a full screen. Well, we're already in full screen, so nah. And we have all these side pieces down here. But, to get started, I need to build some stuff. So, we actually don't seem to have any of the materials on the ground to build anything, so I'm guessing we have to buy some of the stuff in. Which is fine. Now we are a we are a carbon farmer. So to do carbon farming, we need barracks for people to live in because there's no way to live on this planet right now. Uh, I want my planet back up, please. Can I have my planet back, please? Thank you. What are the icons, by the way? That one. That one. And that one. Thank you. Uh, you can go away. You can go away. You can. Go away, and you can go there. Right, so we have that up and running. It's good. 35 degrees Celsius on the planet. It's a bit warm where we are, so let's let's pretend that's not a thing. And uh, we need to build the stuff. Now we are a carbon farmer. Barracks will be required. Uh, don't need that one really. Um, but that just need some stuff. Okay, well, that's not too bad. Uh, your habitation. Uh, increase engineer workforce. We have one increase our scientist workforce, engineers. And technicians. Oh, okay. Uh, pioneers have a taste. Pioneers will give it a, a workforce by 100 for pioneers. So different types of people working different types, uh, living different types of buildings. That is all good. And we have a storage facility there. Good. Under our resources, we collect up. We can collect gases from the atmosphere. That's useful for selling stuff or manufacturing stuff. We need to look into how we make stuff really. Uh, the extractor extracts ores and minerals, not doing that. We're, bear in mind, we're a carbon farmer, so extracting ores and minerals, not really something we need to be doing ourselves. Uh, rigs, uh, extract liquid resources. Then we have our pioneers. We can produce a host of materials, boost up a colony, so that could be potentially useful. Farmstead, food processor, incinerator, prefab mac one, smelter, and welding plant. So, yeah, good levels. Producer, cross like soy. Um, produces a host of materials, okay, it turns organically grown plants into life's most, re most basic resource. Carbon! That's us. We need, the re we need the incinerator. Most likely we will also need a farmstead to grow the agricultural stuff, like sort of that. But we're going to need you as well. We need 40 pioneers for that though, so we need to, f we need to get 40 pioneers worth of people. Okay, that we can do. That we can do. Right, so we've got farms, we've got an incinerator. So incinerator is 40 pioneers. And a farmstead is 50 pioneers. <clears throat> okay. So, we're going to need at least 100 pioneers. We've got about 100 pioneers. Well, 90 actually, if the incinerator has been 40. Um, so we should look at being higher now. I'm guessing growing slower. Let me just look that up. Okay, so it says to recommend to build two farmsteads and one incinerator for a carbon grower. So that's what we're going to go for. Now we're going to need to buy some materials and I'm going to get my trusted little notebook out that I haven't used my notebook in a very long time because uh, I tend to use this mostly for the uh, the, the Stella Renaissance stuff. Uh, make little notes and stuff. But I want to make sure we get all the material down and I don't want to order the wrong stuff and run out of cash. So, order, ba, 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 uh, even the carbon market can is barely overpriced. It takes 78,000 in piney to keep and puts uh, inputs and makes four carbon. So selling carbon at less than 1950 means you actually lose money making it. Good to know. I'll forget in about five seconds time. All right. So we need incinerator. We need this. We need base structural element. So we need to buy some BSE. BSE. And we'll need eight. 
And we'll also need BBH, BBH, and we'll need four. Uh, we need BTA, BTA, one. Uh, we need Bravo, Delta, Echo, two. And we'll need Mike, Charlie, Golf, uh, five. And then for the farmsteads, we'll need BSC 2 and 2, because we want two of those units, so we want four of those total there. BBH of 4 and 4, and then MCGs of 50 and 50. So, 12 of them, 12 of them, 1, 2, and 1, oh, 5. All right, so we have our totals. We got what we need to purchase. Let's go and see if we can purchase the stuff. Now, I'm guessing we do that at the commodity exchange. Hey, look, commodity exchange. Um, I am going to be needing some stuff here, so I need some. Now, will this be in the list? Can I just search for the stuff? It's much easier if I know the names. Right, so BSE, BSE is not in that list there. So, that, well, it's electronic ships, but uh, why would it be? Construction parts. B. MSG. Ooh, magnetic floors. M. MCG. MGC? M. C. G. M. G. C. They're different, different things. Don't pay attention to them. Shush. Um, construction materials. Okay, I feel it's good. Uh, metal. Uh, mineral conductive. Is that you? Mineral construction. Construction gantry. And granulate, sorry. That's what we need, okay. We need that. Um, we are missing 50, we were missing 105 of that. So, click. Um, da -da 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 production. I don't want to make it, I want to buy it. So, supply and demand, infinite supply, good as no. Uh, bid amount, ask amount, price charge. Okay, can I buy trade? I want to buy. Uh, amount 105 to get started. Plenty, oh, sorry, plenty of people to run the facility as well. We should be looking at how much buildings as well. People. Um, we need people. We need 100 fam, uh, pioneers and 40. So we need 140 pioneers and we'll need uh, barracks to support pioneers. 75 each. Um, can you get anything that does more than 75 pioneers? Pioneers, 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 pioneers. Mm. Pioneer habitation would give us 100 pioneers. Uh, okay. Da, 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 da. Okay, so we can do 100 in that one building. It's 2, 4, 2, 1, 3. And you're 4, 4. I think you're. you're, you're oh, you also do settlers as well. You're just. Well, we're going to get some settlers in as well. Let's get two of those buildings, two barracks. I feel like barracks would be a good combination here. Okay, before we buy, let's get our inventory. Do we actually have anything in stock? So that's that's that. What about you? You've got something in your cargo bay. What do you have in your cargo bay? Flight control, system map, planning for no. What's in your cargo bay? Ooh. Alright, so you have some stuff in the cargo bay. Can I bring that down to the planet, please? Um, we may... Basic window. Basic deck element. Basic bulkhead. I'll leave those in place. I just feel like those are going to be useful for us right there. Um, do we need any of those? BTA. We do need BTA. Okay, I'm taking all of your stuff. All of your stuff, ship. You can stay in there without any stuff. <coughs> By the way, ship, you get anything in your cargo bay we could utilise? Uh, you have drinking water. Yes, please. Uh, Hydrocarbon plants. Pioneer clothing. Rations. And water. All right, this, the planet now has all the resources. The ships now have no resources, so that's good to know. Uh, let's see if we actually are missing anything now, because now we've filled up the stock. Are we missing anything? <clears throat> so let's go back to our uh, resources. Not resources. They were pioneers tab. Uh, our basic mineral plant we can build. Uh, we only farmstead we can build. Okay, so let's, let's start building the things we need. We're going to farmstead. Two farmsteads. And an incinerator. If we start building the things we're going to need, build that. Excellent. Action succeeded. And build me a second. 
Did I build the wrong thing? Build that. Okay, done. That's two of those, hopefully. Not one of them. Uh, and then an incinerator. Okay. Now, if that's right, our, planet, our, our business now should have a lot more stuff in it. Um, buffer base C1. Uh, population, experts, production, inventory, production. Damn you, food processor. Can I destroy you? Um, we may have just bought something we didn't need, and I'm going to kind of screw it up on that one. Alright. Um, production lines, base. Can I make another farm? I can make another farm instead. It's going to bankrupt me, though. Um... Can I destroy something? <laughs> That'd be kind of cool. Um, experts population construct is that screen. Um, there isn't a way to destroy anything like that, so we're kind of screwed right now. But anyway, we need to make some barracks. So we just now we just need um, we need two barracks to run the facility. Uh, Seventy-five each. Yeah, that should be enough. So BDE. Bravo. Delta. Echo. We need two. Uh, Lima, Tango, Alpha, we need two. Uh, Lima, Sierra, Echo, we need two. <coughs> Times that by two, so we need four, four, four. Let's go see if we can buy those materials. Because you are what we don't have. Basic deck elements. Natural resource. Yeah, it's not actually a natural resource. Who would have funk it? Alright, so... Let's get rid of you for a moment. I'll come back to you later. And over here, so so we need to find Bravo Delta Echo. Bravo Delta Echo. That's nope. Lima Tango Alpha. Nope. And Lima Sierra Echo. Nope. All right. So not on the construction materials. <clears throat> Let's try consumables. Drinking water. We'll be some big drinking water. We can. What is this stuff anyway? So you are a basic deck element. A lightweight window and a lightweight structural element. Okay, so that makes life a bit easier to know what you are. So you will be construction parts then. Uh, Lima, 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 Lima. Nothing under Limas? And Bravo is the other one as well. No. Not construction parts. Uh, it would be under prefabs. I would, don't think it would be under prefabs, but you never know. Uh, Bravo Delta Echo. Bravo Delta Echo! I would like to trade. Uh, four units of this, please. Um, four units. I have two units in stock, so I am needing more units. Oh, I'm, so I'm going to use those two, so I'm going to need six units of that. Um, limit. I'm going to leave the limit empty for now. It's a required field. What is this limit? Is this price limit? Uh, local store. <coughs> I don't. Yeah, I need to be local store. Current price is 2,000 assists. Buy. I can't buy. Six. Volume is 56. Yes. Um. Okay. Back in a second. Uh, production. I actually can't if you do anything, but if I told you to start making stuff. Uh, you could make water. No, it's input materials. Uh, you output fatty nuts. Well, isn't that nice? Uh, you make fatty nuts, or you can make all this other stuff. Cool. Uh, order size five. Cue it up. <coughs> okay. Um, that's fine. And the incinerator uh, would take the hydrocarbon, hydrocarbon plants, which would those, which is big. And then we would say, take those and make carbon, carbon or carbon. So we can take grains, we can take maize, or we can take plants. Install four. Boom. Set up an order of one, because I'm an idiot. Uh, and then it's all set. Okay, that's fine. Uh, you are production lines. Uh, you are my overview of that. Okay. So I need to start getting these things docked at some point, because they're getting a bit messy already, and we need to look into that. The food processor it needs to go away. Wish there was a way to delete a building that was built by accident. There probably is actually. Probably is. Let me have a look at that and come back to you. Okay, so if we try this, let's expand this system here. 
drop this uh, the base in there so I can see stuff easier. But apparently, there's a section of wood I couldn't see before. Ah, go away, panic. So there we are. Ah! We can demolish the buildings. Hopefully, demolition is give us some resources back. So we screwed up earlier on. I, I accidentally clicked on that one. So, demolish. The building has been demolished. Hopefully, that puts some resources back into our system for us. Um, but we'll find out very shortly. So, you can go away. Can I construct the barracks? Uh, no, we're still missing these important pieces of information. Damn it. I was kind of hoping we'd be okay. So, you go over there for a moment. Um, you are the building processes there. What's our inventory say right now? Uh, we have a whole bunch of stuff. We have four basic structural elements. Um, one BD. So, can I build any of these facilities? Oh. We can get a pioneer habitation up and running. That's good. That's good. That's good. Okay. There's only one, but it will actually provide us enough to get a base running. Right. So, pioneer habitation. We can go straight to a pioneer hab. Build. All right. So, we now have 100 workers. And we need 90 to make this place work. That is good for us. Right. Excellent, excellent. So we are getting some progress. I don't need to buy the stuff. That was me uh, completely going off kilter there. Um, cause I think because I screwed up the by building the other thing by accident. It was like, ah, I don't know what to do now. Can I build a second farm yet? Or would you have to wait on that? Probably best to wait on that overall, I would say. Um, yeah, we're missing two MCGs, two me uh, mineral construction granulate, which was... How much does that cost average, in a way? Uh, it doesn't say in here how much it costs, so we're going to ignore that for now. Uh, let's bring up our sections. I don't want to demolish them back since, so let's not bring them up too much. And let's see, we need you. Uh, you're fine, but you. Farmstead requires. Thing in outputs all this lot. Okay, good. That's good, okay. And the incinerator takes all these in. So HCP, MIA, and GRN. Put you over here. The farmstead. Can produce those I'm hoping uh, HCP which is hydrocarbon plants or MIA which is carbohydrate maize or GRN which are uh... okay so let's, let's see what we can do on the whole placing an order in the system to manufacture something give me my production chain um, details uh, you're making fatty nuts if I have a new order can I change that wrong button I asked for you. Can I change that to one of the other ones? Okay, yes. So we need to cancel that order. Boop. Cancel. Okay, we can't cancel that order. But I can cancel you, right? Because you're not done yet. Okay, we have to wait on you as well. That's fine. We, we need you to make the uh, the things anyway. Uh, so, we need to set up the manufacturing process. So we have water in stock. Uh, inventory. Let's pop you over here somewhere. I feel having an inventory in this area would be useful. Let's put it here. You... Okay, I closed it, and I should have closed it. So can I add the panel, create a screen, description, command? Can I add below? Good. And I want to drop you in there. Thank you. I will probably move that over and crush it down and stuff. But I just want to see what, my, I want to see what the materials we have mostly. The water, keep an eye on that water. <coughs> uh, we're using up a lot of the water for this. And I'm guessing people need water to live. So it would be probably useful to get some stuff in. I found the incinerator overview is that so you actually could be useful to pin as well somewhere. You know what? Let's pin you over here. Um, there we go. So keep an eye on your production chains. Don't need you anymore. You're fine there. You. Uh, I don't need either one of you two. I do need to set you up with a new production chain um, to make one of these basically. Uh, hydrocarbon plants. Let's go with you. You require two of them because one's a sort of water. If we were to say we have five water in right now, if we made five of those, we'd probably kill everybody, I'm guessing. So let's just do one of those for now and just test it. There we go. So your two units will produce in eight hours, four minutes. That's fine. Uh, you are okay there. It's a big solar system. Woo. I mean, consider everything. What is that? That is an inventory buffer. Illegal command. Okay. And what is the one below it? The aircraft. That is my spaceships, which we have over here. They're not doing anything right now, so they can stay where they are. Uh, we haven't got anything to sell yet, so <clears throat> they can stay where they are for now. Uh, so you will be done. You are which we can cancel. I really do wish I could cancel your job. What's the button? Da, 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 da. 
create order, local production lines, yet we've seen that before, uh, all production lines, okay, we ignore you. So you're up and running there, you're doing that, you're doing that, you will be ready in 11 days, hopefully that's not real time, because that's going to be kind of annoying. Um, <laughs> if we can make another farmstead, it'd be great. I bet we can't afford one though, can we? I don't expect to be able to, so don't. Yeah, we're missing these two um, material construction granulates. Material construction granulates. So if we were to try to buy some of that stuff, right? Uh, this is the commodity market. Can I see my my current purchases? Own orders. Okay, that is that's going to be useful. Let's have that dock down here, please. Uh, put you there. That's so I can see what I've got on order. All right, so we're, but this will change over time as we figure stuff out with it. Uh, that's good. Now, let's have a look. What do we have over here? Now, I want to buy some of the construction granulate. That one. Medieval construction granulate. We've got 48 in stock. We need to make, to build the next one of these pioneer buildings, these farmsteads. We need two more. So if we were to find that stuff in this market, it would be under, most likely under construction materials, right? Uh, MCG, construction granulate. Uh, price is 40, so that's not a bad price. Let's go and place a trade. And we'll say the we, there inventory is 48 units. We need two more units. Uh, current price is 40, so we'll just do a straight out 40 and buy. Action successful. We have an order in place. Excellent. And we can see there, status is filled. And now we could have put a lower price and somebody else could have done it, but I did it straight at market value to make sure we got it straight away, which we have now. And now we can go construct and we should hopefully be able to build that building. Farmstead number two. Excellent. There we go. Now we have two farmsteads then. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Yes, we have two farmsteads and now we're producing two active chains. One of them is going to be ready in 14 days, which is quite frankly annoying because I placed it by accident. And the other one should be ready in 11 hours, which should be good for that. We might need to buy some water as well. You know what? Wouldn't be a bad idea to place an order for some water. Uh, just so we have some. Uh, can I, da, 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 chemicals. Would water be under chemicals? H. H, 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 H. No. Uh, would it be under fluids? Indeed, that would make sense. H2O, water. Uh, we have four units in stock right now. We're going to want a lot more than that. Uh, it's 85 cis. Okay, so we're going to want. Give me 100 units at uh, 80. What's my bank balance? I wish I could see my bank balance right now. Uh, my bank balance is 29,000. I don't want to use up too much of that cash buying stuff, so 8,000 for water. Yeah, okay. Place the order. It's I'm asking for it cheaper than default, so chances are we're not going to get that through. But I will leave it there for now, and if someone wants to fulfill the order, they can do, and it will be great. Um, if not, we'll buy it at uh, Market Bar, but I don't need it right now because we're making the, the uh, my manufacturing process are a bit busy right now. Okay, um, break that down a bit. I don't think we need those videos to be uh, high priority just yet. That's okay. So we're okay. we've got the manufacturing here going. That is fine. We've got these guys manufacturing. Well, on order place. That one could be deleted now. It's been fulfilled. There we go. Um, we don't need any more water just yet. Although they will be ready in 11 hours. There's a test run to test it out, and you'll be able to make the stuff, hopefully. Um, ooh, you've got 1% done. Excellent. So you've got hydrocarbon plants from the ones we're in stock already, because we do have six hydrocarbon plants. Right. So that's good to know. I forgot about that. So you're going to make the carbon, which we can sell, and we're making some more over here anyway, so we can hopefully sell that as well. Excellent. All right. We apparently lost connection. We are kind of trying to reconnect. Please stand by. This is not an emergency. <clears throat> Connection lost. I will attempt to reconnect. Please stand by. This is now an emergency. <laughs> okay, guys. Well, the temporary console access has been lost, so I'm going to call the episode here. <clears throat> this was a basic setup episode. It was quite slow. So hopefully when we get into the next episode, there'll be less of me bumbling around the interface now, figuring out how to pin stuff and uh, hopefully we can start manufacturing some goods and do some trading but uh, until next time comments in the comments thanks for watching and i'll see you next time bye